drum roll. I am a college grad. Hey y'all, it's me, Amy. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Um, so I haven't actually posted a video in some time. So as I was just like getting ready for my night routine, I said, why not just turn the camera on and do the damn thing? So this is this is my bare face, y'all. This is me bare. Bare bare. I kind of wanted to do this video because I'm actually graduating um, on Thursday, the 28th of May is my college graduation. And I am a graduate of COVID, basically COVID-19. So I kind of wanted to do this video to document my experience with my last semester during COVID-19 um, and what that was like for me or what that has been like for me because it hit me really, really hard. Um, not just like on a physically, like I'm in the house, I'm not going to class, everything's remote, everything is just like online, but in a mental, like emotional way as well. Um, my professors thankfully were like super understanding about this drastic shift so they really revised everything instead of making it about grades and submitting stuff it was more about like having one-on-one -on -one conversations and making sure that we were all okay because this situation is not okay on many levels um so yeah i remember the day that the last time i was doing my student teaching and when Everyone was kind of making a making it into a joke in a way like, oh my God, imagine they close school down. And then I went home and that was like the last time I stepped foot in there, which was like kind of like the middle of March and now we're in May and it's still locked down. Although a lot of people are just like F it and out and about, but we're still in lockdown. This is still very serious and very real. And it was really hard um because i waited so long for this to come uh, it took me like a good four years just to finish my last two from my bachelor's i had my associates for a while and to get here took a lot and the way that i have no other choice but to celebrate it sucks to be honest um i'm trying my best to look at the bright side today i actually bought like a dress and shoes to like dress up for my online graduation so i'm trying to be positive about it because it is a huge accomplishment but at the same time not being able to celebrate the way that i really wanted to which was like have like a huge party with my family with my friends and really just like go crazy because i like dug my nails in the ground to get here like to crawl to this position to this place um i feel like a lot of things that happened in my life kind of made this graduation or this time prolong which ultimately everything does happen for a reason but you know having my daughter early um at 22 23 then having to take a break then rushing back in then dealing with a divorce then dealing with parents separating then dealing with my mental health in general and being a single mom it was it was really hard um but i'm here and i'm done and i'm grateful um it's a little scary in terms of like thinking in the future to know what careers could look like at this point or what the next step is but i felt like it was important for me to at least document that i made it i'm here and definitely something to look back on because like my professor said you know we're a part of history right now this is something that years down the line, like my daughter's three years old now, but she has no idea what this was other than the fact that we didn't really go outside. We didn't get to play. She wasn't with her friends. And although she couldn't really communicate that, she, I know she feels it. Um, so it is it is a huge deal. And I just wanted to say congrats to all of us that are graduating this semester. I know it's not what we intended it to be, but we're here and we did it. And you should be really, really proud of yourself because I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me. And um, the second half of this video, I kind of wanted to like specifically talk to my daughter. Um, my whole point of this YouTube channel is for me to share experiences, is for me to share and inform and to have fun. But I also want this to be something for her that she can look back on to know that, you know, I'm a cool mom. I was a cool mom. You know, hopefully I'm still cool when, you know, we're both 
at the age where we could watch these videos together. Or she might be, I don't know, she'll be embarrassed, but I think I'm pretty cool. Um, but I just wanted to say, Quinn, I love you so much. And although I never thought that I would be a mom, I never thought that I would get the opportunity to have someone rely on me the way you have come into my life. But I am just so grateful. Um, I never thought that things would have played out the way that it did. But when I say that you in my life has made it a million times better. You in this quarantine, if I didn't have you through this time, I don't know what I would do. Um, you pushing me to be the best mom that I can be. Um, you allowing me and showing and proving to myself and proving to others that there is literally no excuse in the world for you to not push and to not dream big and to not be big. So I just want to say thank you, babe, my baby girl, because you are my world. You are my hope. You are my my purpose. And I'm just forever blessed to have you. Um, you had no idea <laughs> how, how much of a blessing you are to me because there were multiple times that I wanted to give up, you know, and looking at your face and looking at you smile at me and looking at you hugging me unconditionally and feeling you with me when I, I just didn't feel like I could keep going. You know, thank you. Thank you, Quinn, so much for being that for me because I did this for us and I will keep doing this for us. Because I never want you to ever think that you can't, okay? Because you can and you will, and I'm going to be there every single step of the way. So thank you so much for choosing me to be your mom. And I'm really blessed that I get to graduate virtually with you next to me. Because the idea of sitting in an auditorium and not having you next to me for like four hours was just way too much anyway. So maybe this is why all of this happened. Um, but sweets, I hope when you see this, you know that your mama worked. To, your mama bust her butt to get here. And I know that you're just going to do the same and even more. Because that's in us, you know. Uh, the grind never stops. Baby, I love you. Your mommy loves you so much. And um, <laughs> thank you for being everything I never knew that I needed. Um, so yeah, with that being said, congratulations to the class of 2020. I hope, I wish you all the best in all that y'all do. And just know that when we get out of this, we're out of this as graduates. We're out of this either with our undergrad or our grad, but we're out of this and we overcame it and nothing can stop us. Uh, stay home, be safe, wash your hands, drink your water, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.